Today, I want to share with you a new groundbreaking change in the 2023 National Electrical Code. Now, this change to Article 21018 is not only groundbreaking for the NEC, but also for the electrical industry as a whole. I'm sure it has electrical manufacturers talking about new product listings, while the rest of us wait around to see if it might make sense to use on our next project. So in this video, we'll take a look at Article 21018 in the 2020 NEC, the new surprising change in the 2023 update, and whether or not we should take advantage of this change now, or is it still too early to make any sense? Hey guys, John here with Backyard Maine. Welcome to the channel. I know what you're thinking. Hey John, the NEC updates every three years with at least 100 changes. So what's the big deal with this one? Well, until the release of the new 2023 NEC, the smallest branch circuit recognized for power and lighting loads has been 15 amps. But now that's changed. In the 2020 NEC, section 21018 reads, branch circuits recognized by this article shall be rated in accordance with the maximum permitted amper rating or setting of the overcurrent device. The rating for other than individual branch circuits shall be 15, 20, 30, 40, and 50 amps. Notice that the minimum branch circuit rating in this code section is 15 amps. It goes on to say where conductors of higher ampacity are used for any reason, the amper rating or setting of the specified overcurrent device shall be determined by the branch circuit rating. I know that's code lingo, but what's that mean? It means that a circuit's amp rating is based on the rating of the circuit breaker rather than the size of the wire. For example, it's okay to run 12 gauge wire connected to a 15 amp circuit breaker. In fact, you can run 10 gauge wire with a 15 amp circuit breaker, but the circuit ampacity will remain 15 amps. In the 2023 NEC, section 21018 reads very similar, but with one important change. It reads, Branch circuits recognized by this article shall be rated in accordance with the maximum permitted amper rating or setting of the overcurrent device. The rating for other than individual branch circuits shall be 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, and 50 amps. Notice that the minimum branch circuit rating in the revised code section is now just 10 amps. That's right, the code now allows 10 amp circuits to be used, but there are still a few problems and we'll go over that in just a minute. There's also a new exception, exception number two, which states that branch circuits rated at 10 amperes shall not supply receptacle outlets. So now we know that receptacle outlets will continue to require a circuit rated at no less than 15 amps. We can probably assume that this radical change allowing 10 amp branch circuits and 10 amp rated wire is a response to the widespread use of LED lighting, which consume much less power than lighting options that we had offered in the past. So why would we want to install 10 amp branch circuits? Cost savings. Reducing the wire size to 16 gauge and installing 10 amp breakers would save money on materials and probably a slight savings on labor as well. But wait, are these items even available? You can buy 10 amp circuit breakers, but they're not very common and they'll probably run you a little bit more money than 15 amp circuit breakers, at least for right now. So right now they don't manufacture 16 gauge Romex or NM cable for power circuits, at least not yet. You can buy 16 gauge wire and run it in raceways like EMT, but there's a problem. 16 and 18 gauge wire are listed in table 31016, but in the 90 degree columns. They're not permitted to be used as branch circuit wiring, so that's not gonna work either. 10 amp circuits could eventually make sense from a cost saving standpoint, but for now, we'll have to wait for the manufacturers to catch up and possibly make it worth considering in the future. So don't throw away that 14.2 Romex just yet. Hey, and if you want to learn other ways to use that 14.2 and much, much more, watch this video next where I discuss five electrical code lies that DIYers should stop believing. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. Thanks for watching.